Hello, Madeline here with Cuddlist. My business partner and CEO of Cuddlist, Adam Lippin, is going to the Better Man Conference this evening. And I'm so excited about this. It's something that's really sponsored, I, I believe, and put on by the Good Man Project. Um, and this whole idea of men coming together, working with other men to say, yeah, what are our blind spots and where are the ways that we can make a difference? Where are the ways just empowering themselves to using all of their affluence and, and, and privilege to, to make the world a less violent place, a more consensual place, a more respectful place. And, you know, in this day and age of Me Too, trust me, I, I hear from men all the time this fear of, am I doing it wrong? Or where am I violating? Or where am I not, you know, blind spots. And I understand. I mean, I have so many blind spots myself. I'm definitely a person of privilege in this culture. And I have my blind spots for sure when it comes to racism and ableism and, and sexism, genderism, like all, all over the place. And it's a, such a, a frightening proposition when I step in them. I call it stepping on my tail. Like, ow, oh, I stepped on my tail. I didn't even know I had one, you know? <laughs> um, and then to not go into a place of defensiveness or, or, or shame um, is huge. So my immediate response, you know, when Adam told me this was, um, you know, cuddle a session, working with a practitioner makes you a better man. And he said, tell me about that. Like, how, how is that? And basically, I think at the core of it, it's so practical because what it is is a really safe container where somebody is in agreement about, you know, working with you to say, so what does consent mean? And in a close physical proximity, right? This is, we're using touch and affection and liking people and appreciating, and it's completely platonic. Um, and it's completely appropriate. It's not in a workplace. This is a professional, and it's someone who's really been trained to, one, take care of their own boundaries, take responsibility for that. They're not expecting you to do it right. You know, this is a training ground, and they're particularly skilled in not shaming you when it does show up in not in the way you intended or if you're coming across in a way that is showing the blind spot. And it's a gentle way to decondition because men in our, in our culture have all been conditioned to be strong, to be the providers and the givers, to not need things. And that can be problematic because we do all need things and we do need a place to not be strong sometimes. But how do we do that in a way that's with consciousness and with awareness so that we're showing up with respect for everyone at the table. And it, it also, it's a hand-on experience where men get to learn that being vulnerable does not mean being weak. It does not mean um, letting somebody else down or not being capable. That what it actually means is, is cultivating humility and being trustworthy and being someone who is safe to be around and that that helps everyone. So a lot of this stuff is not intuitive, but a cuddle session is such a great, safe way to get your own experience of that and get some confidence um, so that then you can take it out into the rest of your life and feel like, oh, I got a better handle on this. So I hope that's helpful. And uh, again, I'm excited to see all the positive changes and the world that are happening, even in spite of difficulties. Mwah.